So I wish we had more details of the audit to really give you guys some concrete stuff. But since we don't have that yet, I made a nerdy acronym because I like to do that. So this is the GASP tool. That's why he's gasping because audits make you nervous, especially this one when there's not a whole lot of info about it yet. So we want you to use our GASP tool to stay calm. G is for gather your key metrics, like we talked about. Plan the gathering, make it a habit. Don't just regurgitate your numbers, but understand what they mean to your census and how they may look in an audit. A is for analyze the trends. Again, based on your own individual agency, smaller hospices may be trending and digging into that data monthly because they only have 30 admissions a month, while a larger hospice has 75, 90, and they're gonna wanna keep up with their trends weekly. Do what makes sense for your agency. The point is just to make that trend analysis part of your functional processes. Build it into your workflow where it makes sense. And again, I've said this before, but involve your employees in that analysis and have them understand and take ownership of your key metrics too. They may have an idea or just a viewpoint that you didn't even think of. I used to drive my staff crazy, but every quarter I'd make at least you know five employees sign up for a committee or an office task or come with me to give an in-service, something out of their traditional field roles. And the ones that usually got really mad at me and rolled their eyes would be the same ones that would come back and, oh my gosh, that was so fun. I love being a part of that bigger process. So try it, get everyone involved in the process. S is for strategize to find solutions. Everyone's solutions will be different because not everyone has the same problems. Thank goodness, right? I hate doing the laundry. Some people love to do laundry. My problems are my problems. So the ways to resolve, reverse, or improve a trend are gonna be unique for your organization. Make sure that every team member is well-versed in that hospice benefit, your region's LCDs, when you're looking at all of your trends, think of what you can do right now to improve some of these referral sources, such as from the local hospital, since you know that's going to be a focus with these hospital encounters with the audit. Again, make your senses healthy. Go out and try. Keep educating your staff and just do what you can to over-prepare them. Clearly, we push that education is the backbone of strong trends, improved data, and healthy census, but it's true, I promise and lastly, P is for plan for your organization's future. You gotta do what you can, guys. All of you who have signed up just to hear us talk about the OIG, who we're watching and waiting to use the gas tool. Think of the little guy gasping. And more importantly, just look for opportunities to keep training your staff so everyone can be prepared. This is not gonna be the only regulatory update that comes. Just try to do everything you can to stay on top of it. So gather your key metrics, analyze the trends, strategize to find solutions, and plan for your future.